Okay, uh, quick video here on um, working with the TSC um, console software utility for setting up a TSC printer uh, for network T TCP IP configuration. Um, basically for getting your Ethernet TSC printer onto your network. Um, now for those of you that do this on a regular basis, uh, you plugged, you've plugged your printer in. Um, it's taken an IP address by just plugging it into your network, but you don't know what IP address it's taken, so you can't really set it up. So um, the key is to be able to know what TCP IP address your printer has taken off the network. Uh, and then once you know that, you can create a printer I'm going to go through the way I would proceed on this. Um, if you get a DA220 printer in from AccuWare, here's how you set up to get it on your network. Okay, so basically on the DVD, and we'll put this up on our support page, there's the TSC console application, and you have to unpack that and then find the executable. So it's a little bit convoluted with that, but basically. Um, you know the title of this is going to be you know setting up your TSA TSC printer on your network so once you've got the console exe run this is what the console program looks like and basically what you need to do is take your TSC printer um, in, in this case it's the DA220 that we're connecting and connect both a USB cable to your computer as well as an Ethernet cable to your network. So you got years ago this was a no-no, but nowadays it can handle it. You're gonna have two communication cables set up to your printer. You're gonna have one USB cable going from your printer to your PC and then an Ethernet cable connecting it to your network. And once you get the console open and you got this all set up, you can add a printer, okay, and then you can do this a couple of different ways, but you could just stick with the USB and tell the utility to go out and find your printer. Okay, it's located it, it's added it as a USB printer. Okay, so then you go into the functions and you say, okay, I want to go to the printer configuration screen. And there's a thousand different things you can do here. And the manual for this console application is on the DVD with your printer as well. Uh, but specifically here, we're going to be working with an Ethernet printer. So we want to have it go out and get the TCP IP, gather all the information about the printer. So you tell it to get, and you can see here it's already taking, taken an IP address off of our network of 10.0.1.32. Now, what we recommend is that you give it a static IP address, which means that you could just go in here, edit this, and maybe give this a static IP of like 100. I'm not going to do that right now, um, but you would probably want to do that on your network, or AccuWare can help you with this. But basically, you don't want this temporary leased DHCP address to somehow get replaced by some other device. So we always recommend using a static IP address whenever possible, out of the range that DHCP is probably going to use. Like if you were to just bump this up to like 75 as the last number here, then it would probably never get overwritten by some other device on your network, depending on the size of your network. But so for now, we know that this device has taken 10.0.1.32. Okay, I'm going to make a note of that. Okay, so we know what IP address it's taken. My recommendation is that you set that to some static IP address, okay, a bit higher than that. But um, so now um, go into Windows Devices, okay, and we're going to go, okay, so the DA220, uh, 210 uh, was already on there. I um, want to go ahead and just uh, add the uh, 220. So this is the 220 that it took from the USB port. Okay, I had a 210 on here earlier. I'm, I'm going to use the 220 now. So it's taken this USB port. If I go to the properties, okay, it's going to show that it's using the USB port right now because I've got both ports connected, right? So um, 
what we're going to do is we're going to add a TCP IP port uh, and there's a few ways to do that um, but basically I'll show you the way I do it um, if you minimize this sorry let's just make this a little bit smaller here okay we'll go back to the page where it shows all the printers I go to print server properties page okay and we'll go to ports and you can add a port right here okay and what I do is I say add a standard TCP IP port okay next and then I use the IP address you can uh, I just put the IP address right in here as the name 10.0.1.32 and we just accept the default on that and it's finished it's added that port okay so first we had to determine what TCP IP address the printer took then we had to go into the print server properties place it where your printers list is and add a TCP IP port so we've done that this is to install a local TCP IP print, printer which I recommend doing it this way some people like to do it as a network printer and there's trade-offs to both but if you're only gonna have one or two of these thermal printers you don't need to like use a, a server to do this so so now we've added that port right so then we can go back into the printer okay manage I go to printer properties okay advanced All right, so that's from managing the page size. So on, you just go to general for the ports, and you should see now down here that we have this TCP IP port that we can select. Okay, so now that printer is attached to the TCP IP port. Now it still is reachable over the USB port, okay, but the reason you have this is because you want to share this printer on the network. So we'll apply, okay. And now we've got that available, you know, as a network printer, and this person can use it. And you could install this this way on a hundred different computers on your network, and you would have this printer usable and shareable by anybody on the network. Um, now, just as a uh, one last piece of background for you, if you go into the browser, okay, let's just as a added exercise here, if we go to ten dot 0 0.1.32 okay we can get into the web GUI or the web graphical user interface for the printer okay so again once you know the IP address that the printer has um, you can then get to this web GUI but if you don't know the IP address that it took off of the network then you need to use the discovery method that I use at the beginning where you hook up a, a USB cable and you use the console application to discover you know what IP address this thing took off of the DHCP network because there's no way to know that right so you can use what we we like a tool called angry IP scanner uh, it's one of my favorites to go out and discover to see if you can find it but more and more networks now aren't letting those discovery tools find the devices out on the network so the manufacturer TSC has recommended that you hook up a USB cable and a network cable and use their tool um, to go out and discover the device so and then once you know the IP address this is again another way to go in and you can give it a static IP right here as well um, but you can't get to this screen unless you know the address that it took off of DHCP initially and then like let's say you change this to be like 75 or something to give it a static IP uh, then you would you can modify that once you set that in that port definition that I showed you earlier on adding the TCP IP port for the driver so um, hope this helps um, again the console tool comes on the DVD with your TSC printer um, you got to unpack that uh, it comes with a complete user guide on how to use the tool here um, I did have to reference this myself to figure out that the Ethernet settings were 
tucked into this little tab right here. That kind of threw me a little bit at the beginning because I was like, okay, where are the TCP IP settings here? And I was looking up here, but actually they were down here. So you do have to press the get button to, to, to have it pull in everything, right? And the fact that this was connected up with USB allowed me to jumpstart this to then be able to use the network capability. Now I, I could now, now disconnect the USB cable. I don't need that anymore. And this thing's on the network and ready to go. So hope this helps um, with getting your TSC printer onto your local network. Thanks. Thanks.